Good morning and welcome to Fat Cow Farm. Now, we've been talking so much about soil hydration and, and getting all the things right. And I was out there running around. I had a sheep jump outside the fence this morning, so I needed to have a bit of a look around and found her and brought her back home. But in saying that, what's happened is, and I've never really taken much notice, is that we have a lot of water leaving the property. And as a part of what we're trying to do is actually keep 100% of all that um, hydration and, and water and everything else on the property. And I'm really upset, <laughs> I'm really quite upset about this, is that what's happened and I'll explain what, what we've got going on. We have a swale a little bit further up and I'll show you what that is. We're filling subterranely, filling up the soils and everything else. And, and what I've just recently found is that we've got like a, a surface spring that's popped up. Now, with a lot of you, everyone knowing the, the property itself, we have a lot of seeps and things like that on the property. Um, but I, at this point, what we're finding is that we've got this like surface water that's come to the, to the surface and it's coming through. And that there is causing all my drama. So what's happened is that the council have come through and sprayed everything. Um, so all these blackberries have now dropped off. But as you can see here, this water is from our property leaving. Now this is a natural gully behind me here. And over the years, this must have been always a wet spot because what I've now noticed is that there's a concrete culvert here, which then runs back into the creek. So I suppose what I'm going to be reaching out and we'll, we'll go inside into the paddock and we'll have a look about what's going on in there. But the problem that I have is that that's my wet spot. Probably no more than 20 metres into our, into our boundary. And I'm not going to be able to really do anything with it. I've been thinking about a pond been thinking about a dam, um, you know, some sort of water harness, or, but it is very, very low just here, and if I was to build a dam in a plot here, this would fill in like a nanosecond, and obviously the expense, I don't want to go down that line. Over summer, it does drop off, um, so, which is a benefit, or am I just going to have to suck it up and say this is now excess that we can no longer use. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm out there, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm really looking for suggestions about what could possibly be done. Because if you come this way, there's another little section as well. that obviously can't handle and it's just come through this way. I mean I wouldn't call it a creek or anything like that um, but what I would be thinking is that you know it's sheeting itself so erosion is pretty much non-existent but it just breaks my heart that I've got I don't know litres and litres and litres of water leaving the property. So let's have a look in this wet spot and um, so come on through and then we'll, uh, I'll show you what we're actually dealing with. So I'll see you soon. All right, so here we are. Now the seep or the spring is just in this area here and it's making its way out. Now you can see that, well it was clear water before the dog was in it. But, <coughs> We do have a lot of 
flow and it is quite wide and then this is just you know it's seeping in both ways um, you can see through here you know super green grass super green grass it's it's just like a natural little gully and the where you can see those trees that's the fenced off swale so what's happening and this is my thought is that we've got so much water in these swales and, and these swales are pretty much dry all year round bar about two months which is in, really in the middle of summer and you would have seen back on videos where we have an opportunity to clear the swales and, and cut back all the grass and everything else and then after that rain bang we're, we're sort of back on again and I'm thinking really what's happening is that we've got so much pressure and there must be some sort of soft silt sand something of the sort that we're dropping down from the swale soaking in it's heading into this like sand pocket running along and then popping back up and this is what we have but if you look you know the, the fence is really just in front of me now and this area here obviously um, what we do notice is that it turns very very green over summer because it is just there is so much moisture um, in the ground here the cows walk through that doesn't impede them the sheep walk through the goats walk through everyone walks through here um, but they typically sort of go around where it's a lot drier but this is this is I will really want to throw it out there is that has anyone come about what we really have because if you look behind me, and I've been thinking about doing key line cut, I'm not going to make it, but that side is too high. I may be able to get one through here and push it back over this little, um, this little ridge line. But where the water's coming from, it's, this is really going to be too high. Like it's almost going to be on contour. So what I want to do is really throw it out to the community um, about soil hydration and having it maxed out and what people actually do with their excess water. Um, do they just leave it into a wetland? And because, you know, at night, like this is full of frogs, the birds come in, we've got lots of um, cranes, um, grey cranes that come through here and they just constantly are picking up worms or little frogs or whatever it may be and I haven't noticed those when we first bought the property so this is certainly I think a byproduct of of the swale running in the woods behind me so it goes out to everyone I would love to love 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 to hear your comments and, and things like that um, about thoughts before we go, like the stock troughs are just on the other side of this, this ridge here. Um, so we have water in this paddock. Um, so yeah, so all about having too much water. <laughs> like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.